أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا السماء انشقت وأذنت ربي وحكت وإذا الأرض مدت وألقت ما فيها وتحلت وأذنت ربي وحكت صدق الله العلي العظيم لكشر نمبر 18 for first year class with new chapter enzyme a topic a molecule which is so important all type of chemical reactions in our body are catalyzed by enzyme enzyme is going to increase the rate of reaction and increase the rate of reaction in such sense that it speed up the chemical reaction the reactants will change quickly into the products and it decrease activation energy in this chapter we will study enzymes are composed of which thing we will study small molecules which molecules combine to form enzymes and why enzymes are very necessary in our body how enzymes work what what are the friends of enzymes who motivate enzymes to work properly we will study what is active site what is allosteric site what are competitive inhibitors what are non-competitive inhibitors what is the mechanism of enzyme action what is the denaturation when enzyme become denatured when enzyme become denatured what is the damage to over body what is peptide bond what is condensational polymerization what is hydrolysis and what is the protein is polymer monomer these are the discussions and further discussions like uh, pH value and also effect of pH effect of temperature effect of substrate concentration on the actions of enzymes we will study especially some diseases which occur when enzymes become denatured Enzymes become denatured. I start the word from the denature. Denature. What is the meaning of the denature? You know the you know the protein is composed of which thing? You was listening the lectures in 9th and 10th class. Which molecule I was talking about that, that they will combine to form that molecule that molecule will combine to form the protein? Amino acids. When amino acid will combine to form the what? Uh, amino acids will combine to form the protein. Many amino acids they combine to form protein. Which molecule was released? <coughs> you are recalling your previous secondary secondary classes and knowledge. You are just recalling. Water is released. You are right. So what is the poly what is the name of the polymerization? What is the name of this polymerization? Condensational polymerization. Condensational polymerization. So what is the condensational polymerization? Many amino acids combine to form, many amino acids combine to form the protein and the water. Such a polymerization, such a process is called condensational polymerization. Condensational polymerization. And when you will invert this molecule, any, any other example of condensational polymerization you wanted to know? Any other example I give you? Glucose, the glucose formula is glucose formula is C6H12O6. C6H12O6. Many gl two glucose molecules combine to form sucrose. Two glucose molecules combine to form the sucrose. And sucrose water molecule will be released. This is also condensational polymerization. If sucrose can be formed, combination of the glucose by same way protein can be formed by the combination of amino acids. And also, I will tell you that when many amino acids will many amino acids will combine, they will form a bond, and that bond is called which bond? Peptide bond. Peptide bond. P e p t i d e. The bond between the amino acid is called the peptide bond. The most important thing: protein is formed in our cell. And protein is significant structure because enzymes are composed of protein. If protein is present, enzymes are present. Enzymes are present, they are catalyzing chemical reaction. If they will not catalyze, what will happen? If the enzymes will not catalyze the if the enzymes will not catalyze the reaction, what will happen? Glucose will react, not react with oxygen, carbon dioxide, water will not be produced, energy will not be released, and ATP products due to which I am speaking with you, I will not 
be able to break ATP molecule. I will not be able to move. You will not be able to do lot of activities. Reason enzymes are catalyzing different type of chemical reactions. What is the name? What is the name of the term you give? Men uh, to the chemical reactions taking part in the cell. What is the term you call? Name of the term which is used to show different type of the chemical reaction in the cell. Recall metabolism. Metabolism. Metabolism is of two type: anabolism, catabolism. You know, small molecules combine to form the large molecule that is called as anabolism. Large molecule break into small molecule that is catabolism. So these all chemical reactions, anabolism, catabolism, being taking place in our body by help of these enzymes. Enzymes are composed of the protein, composed of the protein in the cell where they are formed. This is important thing in the cells where they are formed. These amino acids in the cells where they are formed, they are formed in the cell cytoplasm, in the cytoplasm, in the cytoplasm. You know in the cytoplasm which process was occurring? Ribosomes was forming protein in the cytoplasm. How the ribosomes are forming the protein? They were getting a message from the nucleus. They were getting the message from the nucleus. They were getting the message from the nucleus. How the message was being translated into the messenger RNA? DNA was giving the message to messenger RNA. DNA is the boss and the boss was telling and the boss was giving order by giving a message, message to messenger RNA. Sequence of nucleotide is so important that sequence of amino acid is related with the sequence of amino acids and the sequence of the nucleotide are related with each other. How they are related? Look here. Protein consists of amino acid. Many amino acids they will combine to form the peptide bond and peptide bonds will, will manage the sequence of amino acids. The, if one sequence of amino acid will change, that will be different protein. That will be different protein. protein. I would like to tell you this process by simple way. Look here. I just want to make a cell and this is a nucleus and this is a, these are the ribosomes and ribosomes are two units, large unit, small units. They will combine. When they will combine? Small, small ribosomal unit, large ribosomal unit, when they will combine, when the protein formation take place, when the protein formation take place, when messenger RNA will come from the nucleus to the ribosomes, when the messenger RNA will come out from the nucleus, when messenger RNA will get the message from the boss, what is the name of the boss? DNA is the name of the boss. The DNA will give them how DNA will give the message how how the DNA will give the message. DNA sequence of nucleotide will be translated into messenger RNA. DNA sequence of nucleotide is translated into the messenger RNA. That sequence of nucleotide which is translated into the messenger RNA that will be given to the ribosomes and the ribosomes will give the order to transfer RNA, third type of RNA. These RNA are specialized to gather the protein from the cytoplasm. Transfer RNA. Small t we use and then capital R, capital N you can write and then the capital A. So transfer RNA, collect the amino acid from the cytoplasm and after the collection they will give the amino acid to the ribosomes and the ribosomes will arrange. This point is very important. You just listen. The transfer RNA, transfer RNA which is collecting the amino acid from the cytoplasm, it will give the amino acid to the ribosomes and ribosomes will arrange those amino acid according to sequence. But which sequence? How they got the sequence? Who is guiding about the sequence of amino acid? Messenger RNA. Why the messenger RNA is guiding the sequence of amino acid? Because it is getting the message from the DNA. How the DNA knows the sequence? Because DNA has specific sequence of nucleotide of each individual. It is just like the same that one father has four sons and he is called one person, one son. You bring water, you bring cup of tea, second son, he gave order. I, you came to into my classroom, I say when I will say code words, just think about the code words, I say for example, I say when I will say capital A, you have to stand up, when I will say capital B, you have to sit down, what does this mean, 
इट मीन दैट डी एन ए इज नाट गिविंग आर्डर डायरेक्टली डी एन ए गिविंग मैसेज टू आर एन ए एंड आर एन ए इज गोइंग टू राइबोसोम्स एंड राइबोसोम्स इज नाट इम्प्लीमेंटिंग आर्डर इट इज जस्ट मेकिंग प्रोटीन एंड प्रोटीन अकॉर्डिंग टू विश ऑफ डी एन ए दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट विश ऑफ डी एन ए मेन सीक्वेंस ऑफ अमाइनो एसड एंड सीक्वेंस ऑफ न्यूक्लियोटाइड डी एन ए सीक्वेंस डी एन ए वॉन्ट एनी चेंज इन योर बॉडी डी एन ए कैन नॉट स्पीक बट डी एन ए विल से टू राइबोसोम मेक प्रोटीन ए प्रोटीन ए मीन फिल इन द ब्लैंक डिजीज प्रोटीन बी प्रोटीन बी मीन फिल इन द ब्लैंक डिजीज सो इट मीन दैट द सीक्वेंस ऑफ अमाइनो एसड आई गिव यू वन एग्जाम्पल मोर यू विल बी अंडरस्टैंड वेरी गुड हेयर बाई दिस एग्जाम्पल Amino acids have a peptide bond, peptide bonds, and they are attached with each other by peptide bonds. If these sequence, this is amino acid number one, this is a amino acid number two, this is a amino acid number three. If these amino acid sequence will change, if these amino acid sequence will change, protein will not be able to do work. Protein will not be able to do do work. It means enzymes are unable to catalyze the chemical reaction. Enzymes are not able to catalyze the chemical reaction. So what will happen? Over chemical reaction, metabolism, anabolism will disturb, disturb. Over all metabolic activities, we are living due to metabolic activities in our cell. We are living due to reactions which are taking part in our cell, like glucose reacting with oxygen to form carbon dioxide, and the water energy is being released, which is being used by us. After conversion into the ATP molecule, we are unable to use the energy if the enzymes will not work properly. Now the word I am using, then I will go to this diagram. Then I will tell you one by one the friends of enzymes, how the enzymes work, how the enzymes will catalyze the chemical reaction. When amino acid sequence, I am talking about amino acid sequence. When amino acid sequence will change. if the sequence of amino acid will change protein will be different protein will be different if the pepsin enzyme is digesting the protein into amino acid if the fats fats is the fats changes to fatty acid glycol by the lipase if the starch changes to glucose by amylase if the trypsinogen is converting the protein into amino acid if the enterokinase kinase converting trypsinogen into trypsin these all enzymes if insulin even decreasing glucose concentration if glucagon increasing glucose concentration in the liver these all enzymes are hormones they are working when their amino acid sequence is specific according to dna sequence dna sequence will change enzyme will change there is not one there is no one type of protein there is no one type of the protein question sir there are thousand and thousands of the protein so all proteins are same how they carry different functions ribosomes form same type of protein all ribosomes form same type of protein so mean protein is a molecule which is same so how you can say that one protein is a doing one work and one protein is another work how the dna will implement thousand and thousand of the messages by making one same type of protein that's the point i am talking about each protein is different from other now you got conclusion each protein is different from other and protein difference is just because the sequence of amino acid and sequence of amino acid in each protein even single sequence will disturb enzymes will not be able to work significant term i am naming the enzymes will be denatured enzyme will be denatured so these enzymes are so important in our body because they can cause disease when they will be denatured some adverse actions of our body also takes part by also takes place by help of dna and useful actions in our body also takes place by help of dna boss can give good order as well sometime definitely mostly uh, the, the orders mean the, the the implementation implementation so dna dna gives a message is which is a boss gives a message to cytoplasm two ribosomes to form specific protein say b protein say z protein say m protein each protein is allocated specific function in your body that is the way i say you see you will bring cup of tea i will say you a that is the way to obey the order of the dna 
and these both processes are transcription and translation that's why protein formation is so important by ribosomes because protein form enzyme and these are enzymes structure in uh, so these discussions uh, about enzymes will continue and i am going to tell you in the next lecture how enzymes work what are the what is the example of a disease in which enzymes will be denatured or enzyme is not getting the message and they are not properly doing their work they are not decreasing activation energy they are not speeding up the chemical reactions what will happen enzymes are not tired yes this is the point enzymes are catalyst they are called biochemical catalyst why they are called biochemical catalyst because they are, they are present in the living things and they are catalyzing the reactions in the living things inside living things the chemical reactions occur the chemical reactions in the living thing they are called as a metabolism so these all chemical reactions which are in the living thing they are called as a metabolism and the catalyst which these catalyze these chemical reaction mean metabolism that catalyst is called the biochemical catalyst enzymes are biochemical catalyst enzymes are biochemical catalyst so this word you will study so don't worry about this word because the enzymes present in the living thing nature has rewarded us enzymes in our body to carry on different hundred thousands of chemical reactions in our body those are so complicated some chemical reactions you will study many years about enzymes but enzyme study will not finish in in your even professional courses so these enzymes are making us alive they are doing multiple activities they are not being consumed they are not being consumed they will consume they will not consume you will do one work you will travel from skurdu to islamabad and you will say to uh, college management we want rest we travel from skurdu to islamabad we want little rest enzymes will not say we want rest we are sleeping enzymes are working they are not being consumed reaction is catalyzed they are ready to convert another reactant same reactant but another reactant into the product now upcoming session will be will, will be about the important part of active site important part of active site and another part of enzyme allosteric site and specially friends of enzymes